I think it's probably part and culture of the way that the Royal Marines are trained uh -huh. with that common training bond. Yeah. You feel intuitively that you're going to give trust. And that's certainly something I think is very different from a commercial perspective to a military perspective. In a military perspective, you don't really have the time to build trust with people. You don't have the time to sit there and say, well, I'll watch how they progress until such time as I feel I trust them and then we'll work properly. In a military environment, you can be relying on somebody literally for your life from day one. Yeah. So you almost give them trust immediately and it's for them to lose it rather than for, for you to gain it, if you like. It's, it's done in a very, very, very sort of head the long way round from, from a perception of a commercial viewpoint. I think, I mean, I think it's a fascinating point because it's about how can you, I think at the beginning when asking people, the trust wasn't, I can't remember that word being used, but there was integrity, there was words that would support what trust looks like. And invariably, I know in all the dialogues I have that a good leadership team, if there aren't high level of trust, then that tr team is going to be dysfunctional in terms of what it needs to do. The way to have gained the necessary speed is through trust. It's the only way to do it. 